Hello, Weirdos! I'm Pastor Darren. Welcome to your Daily Undead from the Church of the Undead. This is my opportunity to bring you into what I'm doing with my own daily Bible studies, or perhaps bring you a short message of hope and encouragement during the week aside from the normal Sunday episodes. If you've not already subscribed, be sure to do so now so you don't miss future uploads. And please, invite others you think might also like the podcast. Tell them to visit WeirdDarkness.com slash church for links to the podcast, our Facebook page, and more. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. And today it is going to be a bit different in the fact that it's not part of my own Bible study, but it's a response to an email that I received this morning that really broke my heart and had me digging into the Bible. I received a message from somebody that I'll remain anonymous, we'll just call her Amy, and she said, Hi Darren, I've been listening to your show for years and I especially like your Church of the Undead. We just lost our beloved 14-year-old pug on Monday. We had her since she was seven weeks old and we are beyond devastated. Do our pets go to heaven? Thank you. Signed, and I'll just, again, I'll call her Amy. First, Amy, I do want to say how sorry I am that you are mourning your little pup. I'll call your pup um, Spot, just, just to keep it generic. Pets can be just as loved as children, and that's one of the reasons that I believe, yes, pets do go to heaven. The amount of love they show is another reason that I believe it. It's, it's hard to see how an animal that can show love like that wouldn't have an afterlife. Your dog, my little Miss Mocha monster, she's a loving little furball. So, but that being said, it's not my opinion on this that matters, it's what the Bible says, it's what God says. And fortunately, I do think the Bible is saying the same thing. The book of Revelation suggests animals are in heaven. For example, Revelation 5.13 says, Then I heard every creature in heaven and on earth and under the earth and on the sea and all that is in them, saying, To him who sits on the throne and to the Lamb be praise and honor and glory and power forever and ever. And Revelation 19.11 said, then I saw heaven opened, and behold, a white horse. Psalm 36, verse 6, suggests animals even have souls that, if you really want to look at it that way, can be saved. Your righteousness is like the mountains of God. Your judgments are like the great deep. Man and beast you save, O Lord. I'm not saying your pets need to be saved from sin. I don't think they're actually born with original sin like we are but still, that's what the Bible says there. And while it doesn't indicate heaven or an afterlife, there are also passages where animals are praising God. Not just in heaven like in Revelation, but in Psalm 150 verse 6, let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, animals have breath. Let heaven and earth praise Him, the seas and everything that moves in them. Psalm 69 verse 34 many religious leaders think the same. Again, just because a religious person says something is true doesn't make it so. We always need to check the scriptures because, well, man is flawed. But still, these men are pretty well respected in the religious community. You can't get much better than Martin Luther, who said, "...in paradise there was complete harmony between man and animals. One day again that harmony will be restored." and all creation will be made anew as Christ will be in all and all." And in his book Heaven, Randy Alcorn writes, "...horses, cats, dogs, deer, dolphins, and squirrels, as well as the inanimate creation, will be beneficiaries of Christ's death and resurrection. If we believe God is their Creator, that He loves us and them, that He intends to restore His creatures from the bondage they experienced because of our sin, then we have biblical grounds for not only wanting but expecting that we may be with them again on the new earth. I really like Randy Alcorn's take here. It reminds us that when God created everything on the earth, at the time, paradise, he called it good. He put all of his love into the creation of this paradise, and that includes animals. And if, as the Bible says, all good things come from God, James 1 verses 17 through 19, and God said all things he made were good, Genesis 1 verse 31, 
and our ultimate destination is heaven or paradise, then I have zero issues at all saying animals are going to be there with us. That includes our pets even more so. And that goes for your little pug, Spot. And hopefully our little Miss Mocha Monster when that day comes. Amy, I hope this helps, and thank you for giving me permission to use this in Church of the Undead. I really do think that it'll be a benefit to others. If you did enjoy today's message, or if you like the Church of the Undead in general, please tell others about the podcast who you think might also want to join in. You can find links to the podcast, our Facebook page, and more at WeirdDarkness.com slash church. That's WeirdDarkness.com slash church. Thanks for joining me, weirdos. Until next time, Jesus loves you, and so do I. God bless.